industry for the industry only for medical devices these are the various medical devices companies presently actively participating this medacred i think most of you might have heard about this some of these companies right few of them may be your customers or potential customers or even competitors so these companies are started programs to accredite these special processes so slowly what they will do is this is similar to natcap in aerospace industry so far in india nobody got this medacred across the globe we can say very few companies now initiated this program itself launched in the year of 2019 it will take some time to reach us so this is only to address this particular class validation of processes for production and service provision right so now then we need to plan do is over now check and act so monitoring and measurement feedback customer compliant handling process how we are going to report it to the regulatory authorities conducting internal audit then measuring our processes measuring our product these are the various way we can monitor and measure our entire quality management system or we complying the regulatory requirements then control of non conforming product so how we are going to take action in case non conformance is detected before delivery within our premises so how we are going to deal with a product which is after delivery then how we are going to deal with the non conforming product how we are going to deal with the rework there are some specific requirements in 13485 under clause 8.3 then 8.4 is analysis of data here you have to consider various data data from the uh, customers post market surveillance study so various aspects we have to consider then act improvement so there are two specific requirement corrective action and preventive action so here look at this the preventive action is a mandatory requirement here and that too in the last clause they have written this is the earlier approach but initially we started with the standard in 4.1 risk based approach which is already there but this is a preventive action after detecting a non conformity you have to consider is there any potential non conformity still exist that's what we have to address so these are all the various requirements in this 13485 so here this particular feedback and complaint handling processes reporting to regulatory authority these three are very critical factor so entire success of 13485 is lies on this three particular clause so what type of mechanism we have to collect the feedback see the, the standard is very clear they are not using the word customer satisfaction do you know why can anyone just say why why the standard is not focusing on customer satisfaction that, that's why use the word simply feedback they are not purposefully they have not used the word customer satisfaction yeah the intent is to comply the regulation i will given some example uh, can you name some medical device which we are using generally let's take syringe right syringe so if a customer says if this syringe is create lot of pain to me so can you modify the design for the syringe the customer delight customer satisfaction customer expectation moving towards that direction correct so the ultimate purpose is the intended purpose the intended use of the medical device cannot be deviated against customer satisfaction or expectation so that's why this is not only i'm just example i took as a syringe you can apply this to any medical device some some patients or even the doctors may not have a comfortable feel how to handle how to deal the medical device you can ask the feedback correct that's what the whole clause is then the complaint handling mechanism so how you are going to deal with this after manufacturing a medical device you deliver this device to your customer technically it goes to dealers or distributors then it reaches hospital then it reaches the technicians the biomedical engineers right so what type of mechanism we have to hear the complaints from those people so that should be addressed here then reporting to regulatory authorities in case of any non conformities 
when you monitor when you measure you came across lot of deviation then again advisory notices comes under class number 8.2.3 then perform internal audit on your own frequency see the standard is very clear either you conduct your management review meeting you conduct your internal audit on your planned intervals standard is not giving any frequency it's up to you to design based on your role based on the risk you design it so periodically conduct internal audit then measure your process then measure your product then deal the non conforming product deal the consequence handle it then take corrective action and preventive action so these are all the various requirements of 13485 okay so with this i end this standard narrative session so now what i am going to do is uh, i'll i'm 15 minutes not 15 minutes we are going to have a question and answer session for 20 minutes so before that i would like to share you a small quiz so this is uh, will take uh, minimum 5 uh, minutes you can do it uh, this is the link i am sharing here yeah you just click that link you will land in a page where you can answer a few questions so this is like a course evaluation whatever you learn from the session try to attempt it for some people if the link is not opening don't worry i will send you that link via email i think yesterday also we have this issue but uh, it 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 opens for a maximum uh, even 70 percentage of persons can able to open it very few people have difficulties anyone can uh, able to open this link just respond yeah thank you yeah okay, just try to attempt this then we'll open for a q and a session by 4:35 yeah whoever uh, can able to open this link please attempt this Yeah, end of this session, I will share you the link via email, right?